Why did Airbus build the A350? Once the A380 program fully comes to a close, Airbus's largest wide body in production will be the A350. Initially entering service in 2015, the A350 is also Airbus's newest line of aircraft, excluding updated variants of older models like the A320 and A330. So why did Airbus build this aircraft, and how has market response been? Let's find out. It's been largely accepted that the development of the A350 was a response to Boeing's revolutionary 787 Dreamliner. Seeing its arch rival create a highly advanced and ultra-efficient long-range widebody, Airbus had to respond with something equal or better. The key aspects of the Dreamliner that Airbus had to compete with were range and efficiency. Boeing achieved this largely through the use of advanced materials such as carbon composite, in addition to the strategic use of titanium and aluminium. The end result of Airbus's endeavor was the A350XWB, the XWB standing for extra wide body. In fact, the A350 cabin is 12.7 centimeters or 5 inches wider at the eye level of a seated passenger than the 787's cabin. This width allows airlines to configure their cabins in a high-density, 10 abreast configuration if so desired. The A350 also claims to have the quietest cabin on a twin-aisle aircraft, with the highest possible air quality with optimized cabin altitude, temperature and humidity for passengers. A quieter cabin and optimized humidity were also big selling points of the 787, as were larger windows, which the A350 also features. Although many of the new and advanced features of the A350 mimic those of the 787, the A350 is wider and longer than the 787. In fact, the largest variant, the A350-1000, competes directly with the Boeing 777-300 and 300ER in both capacity and range. The A350-1000 has a range of 14,800 kilometers or 7,992 nautical miles, while the 777-300ER has a range of 14,600 kilometers or 7,884 nautical miles. The former has a seating capacity of 369, while the latter can seat closer to 365. Of course, this all depends on cabin configuration and seating choice. Therefore, another reason Airbus built the A350 was to compete more directly with Boeing's largest passenger jets. Airlines have responded quite well to the A350. To date, Airbus has over 900 orders for the two variants of the aircraft. However, if its main competition is the 787, it still has some catching up to do, as the Dreamliner has nearly 1,500 orders logged for its three variants. A big reason for this lead, however, is the fact that the 787 entered service roughly four and a half years earlier than the A350. Based on the timing, specifications and features offered, we can comfortably say that the A350 was built as an answer to both the Boeing 787 and 777. Aiming firmly between the two Boeing aircraft allows Airbus to capture both markets while offering a good degree of commonality with the rest of the Airbus family. Having been in service for five years now, accumulating a respectable list of happy customers, we're quite certain the A350 will be around for quite some time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.